go with some more 2016 read only memories a rom game as you guys may know um that chord is a little bit pushed under it's not very good for my uh, picking up of the mic but that's all right all right so as you guys may or may not know in this game we've been playing it all right that's, that's all the intro i'll give if you missed the last part, go check it out. It'll be on YouTube soon. Um, if it's not, then I've made a grave error and I'm very upset. <laughs> Alright. So, we are on our way to... Kiss inside. Kiss inside. We're on our way to Stardust... Club. It looks like Christmas there, to be honest. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. Cool. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully oh. we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. So let's see what happened. Who's Tomcat? Oh, I can click on stuff here. Wreath, door, bouncer, open sign, plant, plant. Um, let's try and get some more story progression going. Can we look inside the window? <clears throat> it's busy enough to feel like the place to be, but not so busy that you can't move. Cool. Open sign door. Breathe. Parked car. Um, parked car. In 2062, uh, ZIS, ZIS, CR4, Coupe, perfect for letting everyone know you spent a fortune on credit, of credits on a car. Huh. Uh, we're not going to talk to the parked car. Let's just use their brains and uh What's the what are we I'm thinking about the bouncer? They're using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice authentic touch. Huh. <laughs> Authenticity. Sure. Huh. Hug the bouncer. We can hug the bouncer. Uh Let's talk to the bouncer. Welcome to Stardust. Yo. Let's just go inside. Hold up there. Got ID? Sun's open, right? Yeah. Let's use our ID. Alright. Looks good to me. Cool. Welcome to Stardust. Welcome to Stardust. Let's this go. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? Uh, I'd assume not. No, not my kind of zone. This is my first time, but I think it'll be my last. Who could stand this music? Ah, uh, I like a lot of different kinds of music. So I'm not gonna say that. Uh, I'll say this one. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. <laughs> Yes. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights are having on your autonomic nervous system. Oh, I'm actually moving IRL too. <laughs> Try not to let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we've achieved our goal. Very true. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Uh... Should we check the bar? We'll try the dance floor. Lamo. Lamao. Um, I think the bar's probably a good place good to get idea. information. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Otherwise, I'm much better on the dance floor generally. If Tomcat's a secret name, then this is not a good idea, but we don't know anything like that yet. Uh What's our opinion of him? Seems friendly enough. Sweet. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Morning. Oh, is that a smile? Whoops, I skipped that. Um. You get a drink first. What are you having? And then you ask for some other stuff. Sour apple teeny, Persian June, Mo Sugar Rush. Maybe we could close the beers, my winter teeny. 
sunshine and cloud and gradients and ratios on its run. Netherworld, Scotch drop and roll, 7 minutes. Droggy Mog, PT, Wolf Bite Shot. Rattermaster, Air Drink, Spicy Gentleman. Subtle Bitch, wow! <laughs> Get a subtle bitch. Um, Garibaldi, Core Appeal. Blue Fairy, Power Play, Beer. Canopy, Natasha, Alleg Allegri. Modest Connie, there's so many drinks. Kerr Royal, Dougies and Cream, Hassy Spike. Was oh, that Hussy? Nah. Rusted Lace, TMF, Blue Boy. Sazerac, Tastes Like Orange, Antarctic Harvest. Whiskey, Whiskerita, Makalada. So many. Clumsy, Belarusian, Sober Chauffeur. Bionic Femme. I wonder if this is like an achievement for going through this whole list. Buzzer. Green Tea. Rusty Mail. Nail. Fluffy Dream. Fucking, I don't know. Wiener Juice. <laughs> Sickly Sky. Butch Flower. Gut Punch. Tokyo Tea. Drinking Game. Sour Apple Tea. That's the first drink that we had. Now it's just looping through again. Amazing. Um, I think I'm always thinking the sour apple thing, but then tastes like orange. Let's get that. So many drinks these days. There are so many drinks. What's in there? What's in that? The open alcoholopedia says Two parts champagne, one part orange flavoured vodka. Really? Uh that's pretty interesting. Does that sound good? Uh maybe something else. Like what? What else we got? What's in I mean, green tea? What's a fluffy dream? So many drinks these days. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. What? Three adelhyde and three powdered delta with optional karma dream. Um. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's what I want. Does that sound good? Maybe something else. Like what? I hate wasting this guy's time, but he doesn't even know how to serve drinks, so. <laughs> what is that? What is wiener juice? So many drinks these days. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. <laughs> A tumbler with ice filled halfway with amaretto and the remainder with heavy cream. Does that sound good? Maybe something else. Like what? What what's in fucking I don't know? So many drinks these. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. A mint flavoured soda with a swig of gin. Does that sound good? That actually sounds pretty good. Um like what? What is drinking game? So many drinks these days. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Drinking game is it's a surprise. You never know what it's gonna taste like. Tender's choice. So, fun fact for you guys, we actually have one of these in Tasmania. Um, except it's a little it's it's a secret, actually. So I'm gonna tell all you guys. Gonna tell everyone a secret. But it's actually a secret, so, you know, unless you're tuning in on the channel, you won't know the secret. The secret is, at a specific uh, club in Tasmania currently, uh, around Hobart, in Hobart, you go up to the bartender, and if it's the right bar, and if it's the right ten, I, I think, I don't know if all the ten bartenders there know about it, I'm pretty sure most of them do. 
Uh, it's called a Brooksy. And basically, what they've done is they've made it into that exact thing. You, you tell them, like, a price range, and then they just randomly serve you some drinks together. It's... It's amazing. It's one of my favourite things. And you pay for it, you know? Does that sound good? It's a gamble. Like what? Like what? Oh. This is so cool. What's a sunshine cloud? So many drink. Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Does that sound like what? what are these ingredients? Can someone look them up? What's ingredients and ratios? So many drinks these. There's so many look like, hidden gems in this game. The open alcoholopedia says. Rum, tea, and some lime juice. Does that sound like what? Imagine like IRL in real life. You're just it's like. It's penis. It's penis. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. What's an air drink? So many drinks these days. That was her. The open alcoholopedia says. A shot of oxygen to bring yourself up. That's Does what an that air drink good? is. You know, we're gonna get an air drink. Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. It sounds the cheapest too. What is it you need to know? Um. Predictable herb says in gay. Oh, uh, really? Made him Tomcat. Pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. Dang. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around. Oh, look here, at Shadow on steroids. Wow, well, sh Shadow on steroids? Who was saying this stuff? I just sent. I just sent. Yep. Everyone's welcome. <laughs> uh, let me just pull up the chat so I can read what you guys are saying. Sweet. Try looking on the dance floor, All right? Ah. Uh. Show it yourself. Oh, <laughs> I My I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. Cool. So, what do you want to know? Mostly got myself into trouble. When I immigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. Gotcha. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Hmm. Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired if fist shadow my is whole on life. Steroids. I wanted something regular, peaceful. It's gotta be me, right? I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. Cool. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> sure. Enough about me. Uh, do you know about this Heidi hey, guy? Scientist guy. Does some kind of computer research at Parallax. That's the one. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Dang. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think Shadow he comes in to penis. scout young programming talent. Go figure. Huh. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Shadow likes penis, huh? Alright. Um, thanks for the drink. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger.
Uh, yeah, let's not... Wait, what? Random glass of whiskey? I bet we can drink that, can't we? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> let's check out the dance floor. Very ominous. Uh, considering that's a rad dancer, that is a dancer. That other person didn't have a name? So okay. you don't deny it. What's to deny? Why is this text in blue? Only the most ghost shooting is ghoul blast and it's fun you'll have on this side of the bay. I wonder if the bar serves a bad touch. Huh. Let's check out what this is anyway. Um, sure. Let's play this. It might be some sort of achievement thing. Let's go. Oh! Stop so I think we're avoiding lips. You die. I died. Although not a terrible for a human without implants. What are you trying to say? Uh, I wanted to sit. A bad touch. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, Fobator, let's uh... So they didn't exactly tell us the rules of the game. I think that takes down our health, right? Supposed to shoot everything first. I prefer the other cyberpunk bar game. Oh, did I get them all yet? We survived. Hooray! You survived. Woo! Those ghosts will think twice before Shadow messing with you again. Good That's pretty good. Too. Huh? What's the other side of punk bar game? And yeah, B. Uh, quietly people watching. Could definitely be them. Touch. Uh, let me yes. talk. Can I help you? Valhalla. Hmm. Huh? Tomcat is. Oh, wait, I get it. You headed right up to the chick with the ears, because of course she'd be the one with the cat name. That's not why. Unfreaking believable. Find them yourself, junk. Wow. Shadow is bisexual. Um... That one. What the hell is your problem? You wanna spew that shit? Join the protests outside Genus. I'm sure those assholes will love you. Wow. This feels so rude. Now get lost. Jess. Whoa. Let's go to the fight. Wanna keep pushing me? You'll regret it fast. 
Don't make me have Majid throw you out of here. Piss Majid. off. <sighs> Are you sure you're a journalist? Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. I guess that's all I can answer. You're a though. Although, while I, I like the attention, it'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. Huh. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Nah. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Friend of ours, Hayden has gone missing. We found a note saying he was going to meet you. Hayden's missing. Well, it's one way to sour my night. Yeah. I already saw you got us a little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You see Jigglypuff? Oh yeah. You have friends. Yeah, got friends. Jigglypuff's over there. <laughs> and on this game, you know, not really. I don't really have friends in this game. Um, he's a little wrong. All oh, right. You know about sure. me? Turing. Aiden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, huh? I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. Huh. Cool. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Huh. <laughs> Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Yeah, you gotta teach someone before you Is can teach them how to do it themselves. Else you yeah. can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lipso as dance to my Fair. tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Guess we're fishing with that with that can Sorry, of worms. Herb. Anything else I can help with? <sighs> Why was that woman giving me a hard time? Because she is. She, she assumes no one likes her. Yeah. Um. How do you know Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's. Very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. Huh. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. Gotcha. Um. This soundtrack is chill AF. Yeah, it's really chill. It's really nice. What's Hayden working on? Mostly that little bot you got there. Just uh. Well, I'm sure he had his fingers and lots of pies, but. Hmm. Dumb questions. OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. Gotcha. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits, and it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. I understand it. Um, That's just on. a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs within range, and they share all files. Brad is the tickle monster. Gotcha. Brad is the tickle monster. He's being mean. All right then. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo SF, since it can bypass regular telecom nodes. To tickle him back. It's handy in dense population. Ah. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. Well. 
Um, why'd he get missing? All right, Leno. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, ooh, that might have changed things. Hmm. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> Uh, I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him, but he would just get fired, maybe even sued. Oops, save me. I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Huh. Okay. Tell about yourself. Oh, sure. <laughs> you might have even heard of me in the news way back when. About ten years ago, I hacked into no. Parallax's main ROM servers. That's pretty impressive. Ooh, caused one hell of a stink if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. Gotcha. Earned myself an enforced net blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. Fair enough. Um, yeah, why hack into Parallax? Huh? To see if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger oh. than the government. Mini. It's like Google. Actually, have you ever thought about that? Google is bigger than the government. Huh. Weird. I mean, I think it is, isn't it? So, uh... Well, I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the gotcha. exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Gotcha. Mostly. Sometimes. Mostly. <laughs> oh. Snort. Oh, my kidding. Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. Ha! Um. Probably North Carolina, doll. Sure, it's not the glitziest town in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. All right. Still, this ain't a bad town for a southern belle. Lots of clothes. I had to get a third walk-in closet. Walk-in closet, huh? Mm. So, how do we find Hayden? Yeah, I'm not real sure, huh? But I'm busy playing like stalker and listening to the stream. The first place. Oh yeah, playing stalker her. Oh yeah. Um yeah. No I'll way left for help. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. No. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? Data we can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. Okay. The data cache would be the best place to start. Where's that? Good luck. Turin, you you keep out of trouble. What do we think? Yeah, fair. Um, guess in that game that the fox or whatever over there, Hyberg is playing, probably, probably not for us. Not yet. Um, eh, I don't think there's really much else to do here. What do we think about her? Now, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, you know, we're fine not talking to her. Uh, you man, tell me. 
Anything else you need to say? What are you having? Nothing. 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 I don't want anything. Nothing. Let me go. You know what? Just, just give me an air drink. So many drinks. Drink Chinary, the open alcoholic. Does that sound good? Yep. Cool. Ah, all right. Oh, the stackerholic. Now, what is it you need to know? I need to know how to uh, leave. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's uh, leave. Oh, I didn't drink it, huh? Oof. Oh wait, I can buy people drinks there, huh? Hmm. It's worse than get investigating that. Mm, we'll just Shadow wait, smells. Wow, rude. It's a gut game. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. Of course it has. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Didn't think we'd be able to go back. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry game. to the detective in charge, who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. Alright, so I can That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. Huh. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. No. Loitering around an active investigation Surprise area me. is prohibited by Tell city everyone statute, how you're and feeling. I am authorized to issue the you citation well. of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. Huh. Really? We should go ahead and get moving. Yeah. Oh, brat. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. It really is. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing Laffy. anymore. But we do have to move faster. Hmm. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? Not really. Uh... Do I? Who would that be? Uh... I found no such connection when I compiled your... Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. Huh. <laughs> I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence. That's great. It That's makes like real life. Needs more difficult. Anyway. Great. Huh. Actually, I prefer it that way. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree huh. with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. Amazing. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but Let yes. Let's go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Sounds good. Detective Rivers. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Uh, I suppose so. Huh. Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? 
Faux pas. Now oh. lead the way. That's an interesting word. Faux pas. Faux pas. Faux pas. All right. PlayStation, let's go. For the Richmond district, ooh. Has all the charm of, well, any other old police departments. Cool. Um, why dense? I don't think I can use them. Um, let's save real quick, I think. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, um... I guess we're gonna have to talk to the ROM here. Welcome to the Neo San Francisco. How may I be of a Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment. Of course she but is. she has given me her authorization to send you her way. Awesome. You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. Why care? She is working in investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Gotcha. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, we already know about that. That's newsworthy. I am not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo San Francisco Police Department in your article. Is there anything else I can help? Um, no. Have a good day. Alright. We can go into many locations today. Is that Bimoe? It's not, but... Carousal... Water ROM. What are these? Public park ROM, it roams its designated areas to offer water and directions to tourists. It also takes donations. That's pretty cool. Talk to it. Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would it's you Alfie. Cool, refreshing water? This... Alfie reminds me of, like, Elfo so much from, uh, what is it? Oh, that Disenchantment, that Netflix series. Oof. Sure. Sure thing. Okay, here you go. Even the voice. Water. Sweet. Water levels? Okay. Thanks. Would you care to donate some credits to the Wrong Recycling for Green Earth Foundation? Uh, nah, I'm good. Alright, please have a nice day. Um, Slack Sand. Coffee's actually pretty great, huh? True. Um, this is probably the one. Do you think I'd look nice in that hat? Uh, wow, you'd look ridiculous. That's mean. Wouldn't hurt to try. I, I really love that. I think that would be a good hat. Look better in orange or a green. No, I think blue. Or what? Perhaps a mauve. Maybe a pink. Oh, I can't talk to him. <laughs> He's taking a photo of his ROM. Use the. Why would you use him? 
Take a photo of me, my role. Alright. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, oh, we can get right. Okay. Uh, tree. Nice. Froyo stand. Oh, it's broken. Was in the newspaper. I'm not gonna talk to it. What happened to your thing? Can't you see I'm busy here? Voice acting in this game is so good. Um, water pump. Cool. On assignment in the park. That's Lexi? Huh? She's changed a lot. Hey nice. there. Long time. Has been. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? <laughs> I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Okay. Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. Mm. I guess it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. Gotcha. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Uh -huh. uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Hmm. Fair enough. What's the problem with you? Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. Large I move. transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Um. Uh, I mean, if there's more Instead, crime, I'm thing, stuck but... chasing ghosts and dead ends. No. Oh. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. Wait. Gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Yeah. But hold on one sec. Let me steal a break from this guy. So, fill me in. What's going on? Hayden's oh, gonna be seen. That's no good. No. How long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things are precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. Uh. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. All right then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. Wait. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. Thank you. Hmm. at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. Yes, that's a really you good website. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. Hmm. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. Mm. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? <laughs> That's gonna be it. 
I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. Cool. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. Cool. She seems really cool. No way, not gonna happen. Huh. If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Okay. I'm not gonna blackmail them. Look, I'm taking this seriously and so should you. If Hayden is in real danger, you bumbling after whoever took him is just gonna get you killed. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. Sure you can. All the way up until you don't. Just let it go. I lost too much playing fast and loose with this kind of situation back home. I have to handle this. No. I'm sorry, but we're not going to do it that way. I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. You better. I don't have a stick up my ass about regs, but I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone. Much less a friend. Now let's split up for a bit. I still gotta finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you about the case later, alright? Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped, but maybe it isn't a total loss. Hmm, that's what I was thinking. I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. I got pushed a bit Dead hard. blush. Push this button. I thought about this a few seconds before, actually. And then this pump guy. Hello, I'm Alfie. I. Oh, you already seem to have a full glass. Some people see the glass half empty. Some see the glass half full. Alfie sees yours as completely full. Uh. Um, how about... Oh, where's me? Where's my water? Rough. This 
use it. Anyone actually bought this brand? We did. Um, look at this milk. Every single time I dare put a bit of faith <laughs> in you. What does this do exactly? Don't do that. Where can I dump this water? Toppings every. Do you want some milk? Yogurt is actually made by fermenting milk with special yogurt cultures, which is then frozen to make froyo. Um. Wow, those headphones are pretty a one. Aren't they? Whatever that means. Use. Items? Yes. Drink it. Cool. Uh. Hello. I mouth. Yeah. Sure thing. I'll refill that right away. Please wait. Oh. Oh, Here this we go. is embarrassing. I seem to have run out of cool, refreshing water. Game logic. What the hell are you doing with my ID? Giving it back to you because oh, you fell down. Excuse me, Detective Rivers. I noticed it fell out of your pocket after that wayward ROM crashed into you, and I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost in the shuffle. Huh. Thanks. What hit me? You said it was a ROM? Yes. It seemed to be following faulty programming of some kind. Perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's cart? Maybe. It headed off in that direction. Guess I should check it out. Not like I have any other leads on this jackpot of a case. That actually makes a lot of sense. Hey you, Froyo guy. Tag along with me in case I need you to identify the bot. Who, me? But I've got to attend my stand. What stand? Cut the crap. It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. I did that. Yes, ma'am! And you too. Don't think I don't know you're up to something. Keep your noses clean. Clean your noise! Ha ha ha! What was that the face I pulled? Adventure game logic. Whoa. As I was saying, let me keep it under my hat for now. Just a walking search Get a glass of water from a robot. Robot runs into person and knocks their ID out of their pocket. ID is the thing you need to continue. Wow. I mean, it was stated that the ID was like loosely in the pocket or something like that. Uh, we should return to Hayden's apartment. Look at that water spray. Now that Alvi broke the hose, this valve is pretty much useless. It is indeed. Talk to it. 
wasn't activated by... <laughs> of course it wasn't. Um, yeah, let's just go back. Alright. Um... Yeah. What was the plan again? That's not what I wanted. I wanted inventory. I have an empty glass now. Um. Halt, citizen. This area has been... I apologize for the incon... This is Detective Lexi Rivers, badge number 881126. I will be entering the crime scene with my assistant to gather evidence. Huh. Please move out, but maintain the perimeter. Of course, Detective Rivers. Good luck with your investigation. Well... So, are you impressed yet? Have I proven my usefulness? I think the first one for sure. Thank you. You don't need to prove it. You don't need Sometimes to prove I yourself. Feel my inexperience may be holding us back, but I will continue to do my best to assist you. All right. I That's just what wish Hayden had given me more practical training to deal with this kind of situation. You learn on the fly. Or even just being out and about in general. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. Ugh. Well, I'm not sure I'd call that seeing. The Neo SF Police Department uses a government rebuild of the old Robodyne 6300 Mark B. They're antiquated enough that I'm surprised they aren't in a museum. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Their optics are a paltry 10 megapixels, and it was child's play for me to modulate my forward display into a tight beam of an image aimed directly into its lenses. Low, 10 megapixels though. I also transmitted the credentials we got from Detective Rivers' badge. I probably could have gotten away with just that, but better safe than sorry when impersonating an officer of the law. True. Frankly, I'm rather embarrassed for the ROM. The poor thing is older than your computer. Wow. But enough of that, let's get the data cache and return to Tomcat. It's actually saying something. Yeah, let's not mess around with the rest. Wow, what? What? Uh, hello? Oh no, 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 no. Our apartment, my home. Who could have done this? Why? Even the game consoles are gone. But it's so pure. Oh my God, you're still playing this. I am, but look at what just happened to their apartment. human revolution want with Hayden? Why would they break our things? I... I don't know what to do. This place, these items... They're all I have of Hayden. It's okay, Jerry. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. Don't freak out. for the emotional outburst. At least you can have them. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. A fair amount of people these days don't feel like they can even have them. So it's nice to see it. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. Histrionics, okay. Murderer. Okay. Twin up plant, Oh. Okay, the uh, broken window doesn't matter. Text gum graffiti. Let's look at it. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda, but Hayden is an unlikely target. Mm, you say that. I know they don't like parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. What are you? 
I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. Cool. <sighs> Let's look at this. Yeah. So the other question is, it says pure. Is that discriminating against these people in the future, right? Is it any different from us? I don't think there's anything else we can do. I think the data cache is gone. Yes. We've searched everywhere. I hate to return to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they... The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice... I wonder what the human revolution would need to... Hmm. Maybe they took it to delay Hayden's research. Maybe someone is from the human revolution. Probably not the last one. People don't make movements based... Hmm. That's an interesting line. What if someone is from the human revolution? No. First one. That's a distinct possibility. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on the mesh net is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. It would be. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Yep. Perhaps we could... Hey! This game does not auto save, so please be sure to save frequently. I like penis. That's nice. Chapter 2. <coughs> I kind of like the fact that it doesn't auto save. Blackout. Hello? Is that what you always look like? Thank goodness you're finally awake! What happened? I have spent the past 30 minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. I'm well, relieved chapter that my two. pessimism was misplaced finally. and that you appear to be okay. Yes. Um. That's awful, no. Um, what happened? Someone ambushed us at the apartment. After you collapsed, my power systems were jammed by whoever attacked us. It took me two minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. When we left, I noticed they had done the same thing to the NSFPD ROM that was standing post. It takes a lot of power to crash one of those, even temporarily. Serious military hardware like that is difficult to obtain, but that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. So why use it and then just attack us? Likely a mil-spec neuroscrambler. Yeah. If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. But the probability that they're actually after me, or rather the research behind my creation, seems high. Leaving me when I was so vulnerable makes no sense. No. 
believe my original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must have Shadow been kidnapped is a cult by a leader. powerful organization looking to get control of his research. Trashing our apartment may have been a cover for the theft of the data cache we were looking for. No. That's not helpful. A reasonable deduction. But if they don't yet have Hold a research, out. we may still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens. Hmm. No, I didn't. They assaulted us from behind, and nothing showed up on my optics before I was disrupted. Weird. They either had cloaking of some kind, or were extraordinarily careful while making their way into the apartment. Shadow cult. Shadow cult. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than an off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any thermal changes from someone being there. Before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to them for you until you awoke. Thank you. Here's your ID card. Don't lose this again. Here are those headphones you reviewed. Cool. I noticed the article on your computer before. Good job getting published. Cool. Oh, and here's your spoiled milk. Ha. Huh. Luckily, the hospital staff didn't find your carrying of a carton of spoiled milk huh. around to be a cause for concern. Whoa. And finally, here's your commemorative glass of water that you got from Alfie. Looks huh. like it got broken. Oh, wise leader, what shall we do next? Now all we have is this broken commemorative glass. Should pick up the drink from the bar. You're right. You wouldn't want to cut yourself. Huh. Just let me know when you want to leave. Uh, excuse me. Are you talking about Hayden Weber? Hello? Why do you talk so loud? Um... I already got my water. I'm sorry, I, I can't... I think I recognize that... Guess we got a Why is this so sus looking? I could go a drink. Oh yeah. Do you recognize it now? I'm glad you're okay. Um talk to you. Sorry for being a nosy Nancy. Hayden's an old friend of mine, and this sounded all too familiar. Has anything happened to him? Uh... I hate to be the one to tell you, but privacy screens are hardly soundproof. However, if this situation concerns us both, the... Then go to the kitchen or get one of the girls to get one. Huh. This guy seems seedy. Of course, I've not yet introduced myself. My name is Dr. Yannick Fairlight, and I'm the founder and former CEO of System One Software, now owned by Parallax. Founder 
and former CEO. So he doesn't work for them anymore? He is telling the truth, at least as far as I can intuit from information on the MeshNet. And I do recall Hayden mentioning a Dr. Fairlight, at least once in passing at some point. See, I don't bite. I won't press you for details, but Herbert. perhaps I could be of some assistance. Hmm? What sort of assistance? I remember my association with Hayden fondly, and I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Ah, uh, yes. As I've mentioned, Parallax acquired my company, System One Software. I accepted a CTO SRS? position and additionally served on Parallax's board for several years. The other directors and I had a difference of opinion about the direction the organization should take. The non-centralized data scheme for most ROMs used today seemed ludicrous at the time. We were playing with fire, dangerous, morally ambiguous fire, and well, and invented a bucket of water. So when Parallax's servers were destroyed by hobbyist hackers, well, needless to say, it was a PR nightmare. Everything halted until Ooh, we could I am get loose. the damage fixed. Ghost up. And since the security work that goes into maintaining the integrity of near impenetrable mesh net is astronomically expensive. We had our share of disagreements. In the end, I was voted off the board and do I have hard feelings? Of course, who wouldn't? In the end though, it really does. I'm finding matter. this kind of interesting. I'm an old rich man with enough hobbies to last the next two decades. Uh, you finding this kind of interesting, Herb? That's that's great to hear. Um, you can get it for free on your PlayStation at the moment as well, if you're interested in uh, answering it however you like. And of course, you can always skip past the bits you've already heard a bit. Uh, how did you meet Hayden? Hayden and I made our acquaintance when the two companies first underwent the merger. Time. He was a young hotshot researcher working in the search data correlation sector. He was assigned to find the best ways to integrate Parallax's own collection and analysis tools into System One's LIPS operating system. Huh. He was a bit much to handle at times, honestly. But I admired his passion for the subject. Herbert the Hedgehog runs so fast and shits himself. <laughs> Do you know anything about Hayden's research? His research? No. Not so much. I remember at the time he had interest in advanced machine sapience. But that is the realm of science fiction. Gold hmm. Mills. He once showed me a prototype of his. She was quite clever, very convincing, but you could tell she did not contain the spark of life. I assume that you are another of his creations. Yes, I am. I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Turing. Did you say she? Ah, yes. She was quite insistent on that fact over the course of my conversation with her. Hayden said that she had picked out the color for her casing herself. Pastel pink. Still, I must assume you are far more advanced than she if you are spearheading the search for your creator. Perhaps I should have had more faith in Hayden's little hobby. Do you know what became of her, or it where seems. she might be now? Hayden has told me so little of his past research. Old memories. I'm sorry, Turing. It 
was a long time ago, and I'm afraid my memory is not what it used to be. If any of my contacts in Parallax make mention of your uh, erstwhile sibling, I'll pass it on to you. Hey Shadow, it's way past your bedtime. Mm. Hmm. It might be. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. Of course, ask away. <sighs> what are you doing here? The chair you find me in is an advanced diagnostic and life support run. Its development is one of my hobbies, so to speak. Okay. It monitors my vitals and administers medications as necessary to keep my body stable. I likely would have perished long ago without it, or at least would have been severely bedridden. Gotcha. It requires frequent maintenance, and I'm here to have it examined. There's a particular fellow at this hospital who is the only one I trust to run the correct diagnostics and fine-tune things to my exact needs. I feel like someone who is this... Uh, uh, supposing he is, who is this supposing... Uh, who is this disabled? You feel like... They're definitely going to tell you the truth. Because I have no need otherwise. It's the same way you might get your car serviced, making sure everything's in check. It's too integral to my health to count on just luck. Unfortunately, uh, many critically injured patients were rushed into surgery all at once. And my appointment has been pushed back. Who else? The hospital administrators placed me here with a resting patient so as not to be disturbed by the chaos outside. Right. I don't think they expected you to awaken quite as quickly as you did. It's my, uh, the water I drank earlier. Mm. So how can you help? Ah, I can think of a few ways. Okay. I still have some contacts in Parallax and can put out some quiet feelers. Maybe they'll know something. I will admit, I don't have much to offer until there's more information. Is there anything you can tell me? I'd like to help in any way I can. Hmm. What did you find at Hayden's apartment? time we went, nothing. But when we went back to extract his computer's data cache, the place had been pillaged, and the human revolution had spray-painted slogans all over our walls. Hayden's Locked computer was spiral, gone, spiral. and we were assaulted. Hmm. I guess there's no reason not to tell this guy. I'm sure he's probably thinking that. Cult, 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 go. Okay. Um. I mean. Yeah. And now we're here, injured and losing our trail with each passing second. We're still frustratingly in the dark and running out of time. That's true. I fear Hayden is slipping out of reach. I am failing him. I'm very sorry to hear that. I wish Delta I could Delta is more. having fun spamming the Hayden's chat. company was most enjoyable. So then what do you want? What do I want? Hmm. It would be nice to be young again. Play the darling of the company. Court prince and pauper alike. But right now, someone I grew very fond of is in great danger. The game's too loud. I simply wish to see Hayden home again, safe. Right. It's been very interesting speaking to you, Dr. Fairlight. Game is fine. Hmm. 
I don't think we should fully trust him. But I don't think we should abandon him. I don't think we have any choice. If I'm looking into this on my own, you might as well benefit from it. We both want the same thing, yes. It's up to us to seize opportunity when it appears. Hmm. I think I have a lead for you two that will prove most useful. You said you found human revolution slogans spray painted on the walls. I am acquaintances with the man leading the current human revolution protests at the Genus Clinic. His name is Brian Mulberry. That's actually really helpful if he's leading it. After an introduction from me, he may be willing to shine some light on that particular event. Not black mode. technology <laughs> but yes our motivations aligned for one brief time and I gained his respect from it hopefully that can be useful for you hmm so tell us about oh, why no no not in this lifetime even if I so desired I don't think while mr. Mulberry and I were associated with each other once uh, was before he joined the human revolution. Gotcha. I find their methodology too aggressive and their stated goals dangerously backwards. Hmm. While I pushed for careful deployment of technology after the Parallax System 1 merger, I am no caveman. After all, I'd likely be dead without the advanced technology. Just keep spam in the chat. This chair. Hmm. I will send a message downstairs to my assistant, Leon Decker. He will hand you one of my cards to prove your association with me to Mr. Mulberry. Okay. Make sure you speak to him before you leave. In the meantime, I'll get in touch with some other individuals I know, and try to find... I'll be in contact. Ah, of course. Please, good luck, Turing. I don't think Hayden's faith in you is misplaced. You are an impressive piece of technology. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. We'll be in touch. Should I call downstairs to have you discharged? Um... Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? I can't believe that you're still pulling the exact same shit you were years ago, but this time it's truly unreal. Do you even realize how bad impersonating a police officer is? It's a felony, jackass. I should be slapping cuffs on you and dragging your sorry ass off right now. Detective Rivers, wait! I'm sorry. The plan to lift your credentials and use them to access Hayden's apartment was entirely mine. Also, I feel it necessary to mention that though you are understandably upset, such language and imagery is beneath you as a respected officer of the law. Oh, that's a bit of a push in the face, isn't it? Oh, great. A robot did it, huh? I guess I'll just take you to jail then instead. That what you want? Don't even try to take all the blame. I know that a certain someone lent you a helping hand. It isn't like you have the hardware to pull that off alone, little bot. Well, to be honest... Det 
Detective Rivers, I think I'll tell you the whole truth, since my friend here trusts you. Keep it under your hat, though, metaphorically. I am no ordinary ROM, but actually a prototype designed to be the first fully sapient machine. I suspect creating me is the main factor behind Hayden's disappearance, beyond his day-to-day -day research for Parallax. My name is Turing. Ooh. Okay. Hi, Turing. Well, that is a damn bigger problem than you first let on, huh, old pal? First machine sapient. People are gonna have things to say about that. Especially the human revolution. Ugh. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. You sure know how to get yourself dropped in the drink. Yep. What the hell am I supposed to do with the two of you? <sighs> Give us some food. We only have spoiled up. milk. This time, and only because this time I can let you get away with it safely. I doubt okay. anyone will notice your manipulation of that NSFPD ROM, nor that I was apparently in two places at once. But mostly because I think you're right. Oh, blush. Someone higher up in the department is trying to delay any search into Hayden's disappearance. Yes. Here's the story. Apparently, the investigations you ran into this morning were about the lock on the apartment door being reported broken by a neighbor. Uh -huh. The building couldn't reach Hayden, so they went ahead and got it fixed on their own, but the NSFPD sent a bot to check things out and guard the place for a while afterward, right? Standard procedure, treating it as a break-in. Have someone there for when Hayden shows up. No, and not has lying. Obviously, you and I know there's a bigger story. But when I filled out the missing person report, I was informed in no uncertain terms that I am to wait an entire 48 hours before I can upgrade the existing case. Huh. Why? Just on the off chance the door being busted and Hayden being missing are unrelated and my search screws something up for the completion of the break-in report. Huh. As if. There's a problem if you're so by the book you're getting paper cuts. Yeah. And that was before all of this happened. Hi, Herbie. The Chief's not happy about whoever took the bot out. That's who they're after now. They won't even care if Hayden Hi. Really shows. Be huh. sure to check out my streamer friends. Apple Code Your Pal Frost Cycle C Pokeps and Tesla Mouse. Will only make the entire situation more confusing and sensitive. There's too many moving parts to piece anything together, and it's not fun trying to argue with a bureaucrat. Mm. These little incidents of smashing shit and spray paint sound more like Froyo Stand 2.0 to them than a serious abduction. Yeah. And I suppose I won't be very useful as a witness to the kidnapping without explaining the makeup of my being to the entire department, which will only scandalize things further. Darn it all. I'm huh. gonna head well, to bed, She's not night everyone. Completely. So I don't think anyone's been bought. All right, night, Herbie. What are you doing? Have a nice bed. Thanks for coming out. It's been Until amazing. Undeniable proof Hayden was taken by force. They're gonna care more about the poor doorknob and some paint on the walls than him being missing. Which means somebody definitely has some influence enough to buy themselves time by forcing me to follow protocol to a T. Mm. Not that I will, but I'm gonna have to keep things quiet. Gotcha. It sounds like it's going to be up to us. Does sound yeah. Right. So stop messing around. There's certainly a story. I was in here, bed. But if you keep botching your moves, you'll blow it. I'd really rather you not be involved at all. But I know that isn't gonna happen at this point. Like I've got a bad feeling people are gonna end up dead over this. I don't want you to be one of them, buddy. Why are you blushing? And I really don't want to be the one making that call to your sister. No. Please. No. Was it a bad breakup? I'm assuming you're not dating. Oh, Arlen. Yeah, yeah. I know. Just here. Zappa. Take this. Use it if you have to. Range Aren't you pistol. bored of this yet? 
You it need. uses a low power laser to create a channel of ionized gas to complete a circuit between the gun and the target, then uh. discharges a considerable amount of current into the air. Um, no, I'm not bored of this. It's great. Um, so ionized gas. How do you get ionized gas? To complete a circuit between the gun and the target. Think of it as a wireless taser of the older variety. Huh. This is a more suitable personal defense weapon, and it is legal to carry in the OSF without a license. Oh, that's cool. The neural Stun scrambler gun. we were attacked with uses a powerful electromagnetic field to disrupt electrical signals in the target's nervous system. That's far more dangerous and prone to be damaging to the target. Oh, am I okay? You got lucky. Jeez. I told you to get a weapon, but you didn't, so I picked it up on the way here. Be smart with it. Thanks. Me either. I'll be in touch if I find anything out, but don't hold your breath. My superiors are gonna keep leaning on. Back to the grind, I guess. See ya. Stay safe. I'll try. Thank you for your time, Detective Rivers. Did they say the us? You should the talk to the receptionist OS. and no? formally check out before we go anywhere. Yes, and we gotta talk we to. We should also look for Doctor Fairlight's assistant, Mr. Yes. Decker. He should be somewhere around. Yes. I didn't know we were watching Spy Kids. Spy Kids? No. Hello. The name is Leon Decker. It's a pleasure to meet you. How be you? Fairlight messaged ahead that I needed to pass one of his cards on to you. Here. Thanks for taking your time with him. He really gets in one of his moods when the chair is getting fixed. The last gala he organized was full of unsavory gala. types. He's probably happy to help folks whose pockets aren't deeper than their thoughts. Mm. Yeah, boss said you'd have a few for me. Really? I'm not really supposed to answer anything too private, but <laughs> take your best shot. Hi, Leon. Are you a MOG lion oh, face? Uh, mostly gopher work. Started when I was just out of the military. I was looking for a gig from someone who wouldn't care that I was an army rat. North Korea made that hard. The old man pays me to guard his life, run a few errands for him, and play substitute arm candy at most of the charity galas. Huh. Not terribly exciting, but I've already had enough excitement to last me another 30 years. Gotcha. You think sitting in that chair all day? You know. The old man's talked to me about the things he used to do in his glory days. I'm sure he told you about it. He was cold, ambitious. I think once he aged, he realized how wrong Emoji happy happened. tears. Helping Emoji rolling on the floor laughing. 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 Emoji happy tears. Emoji happy tears. Emoji happy tears. Emoji happy tears. Emoji rolling on the floor laughing. Emoji rolling on the floor laughing. Leon is not a lion. Emoji rolling on the floor laughing. Don't make me turn off voice. <laughs> That'd be really annoying. What do I know? I just spent all my time with him. Probably not as exciting as you hope. I grew up in Montana, on a family farm. I didn't have my pa's farm hands, so I joined the military as soon as I could, like my grandpaps. Came home looking to do something a whole lot quieter for the rest of my life. I mean it as well. Don't spam the chat. It's a rule. It's actually below. I do believe. I didn't know at the time how boring quiet could be. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it over getting shot at. Thanks. No problem. I'll be around if you know where to look. You have a good day now. Serious. Oh, That's what right. Jess is doing. Nah, she's resting. I don't want to bother her. Let's see if we can, uh... Good, is it? 
Is it? Placard. Patient. Yes. My records indicate that you have been admitted. You should currently be in your assigned bed. While I am truly delighted to see that you have regained consciousness, I must insist that. Definitely with that. An accidental discharge of a weapon is a serious event. Even non-lethal stunners can leave. Very well. I am prohibited by law from detaining you here against your will, patient. Thanks. But you should note in your release paperwork that Willful early termination of medical Insulia services releases this hospital injured. and its parent company, ZHC, from legal liability, should your condition... Additionally, all test and medical data from your visit will be shared with our standard partners to help improve our services and offerings and to keep the price affordable. What? That's awful. Um, we don't have security or privacy anymore, I suppose. I am further required to inform you that this visit has expended the last of your year's governmentally mandated healthcare credits. Uh... Lastly, you will be required to provide payment or proof of private insurance for any further visits for routine or emergency medical care. Please take care to fill out all forms thoroughly and accurately, and do have a nice day. So I'm going to die next time. Your medical billing makes me glad I'm synthetic. You should yes. look for more paying journalism work before you get shot again. Yes. Well, we're free to leave. Why not head back home first, yes? I'm sure you'd like the chance to shower at least. For such a clean place, it sure seems to have left you feeling foul. Yes. Is that a duck, robot, or burger? Uh, that's, that's a robot. Cool. You look good. Thanks. If you're feeling up for it, we should go find Tomcat and tell them about what happened. Yes. They should still be waiting for us at Stardust. Let's not keep them waiting. Oh, by the way, while you were showering, I was able to replant your Crassula ovata. Oh, nice. Don't forget to talk to it and give it some love. When I try talking to it, it doesn't even notice I'm there. Oh, that's okay. Either way, our next move is Stardust. No, I think the next move is talking to the plants. Ah. You're such a cute little plant, Wilty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Boo, 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 boo. Slot. Uh, let's just call it two. Chapter two, Are number you two. On drugs? Slot two. Are you on drugs? Um, how's it doing? I guess, um... Ugh. Business card... I'm undecided on how I feel about him. Hmm. Yes, that is a very impressive electro-laser pistol that Lexi gave you. Yes. Well, I mean... By M.O.G. Waving Hand, M.O.G. Waving Hand, M.O.G. Waving Hand, M.O.G. Waving Hand, M.O.G. Waving Hand. M 
wheel. Emoji waving hand. Emoji waving hand. Um, well, I'm thinking we might actually have the stream here, guys. I'll go get some sleep. We've been doing a bit. We got, you know, we made the uh, chapter two. We're back in this room uh, where we started the stream from. Sink still isn't fixed. We talked to the plant. I don't think there's a whole lot more we can do, and uh, actually, we can look at the lappy. Paperweights. Looking pretty hot there, lappy. Like, literally hot, fried dead. It's useless. Well. Uh. And I, yeah. What are the stations we got now? Tomcat's theme is pretty cool. Turing's theme is nice. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, with that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you've had an awesome time on this stream. Uh, and, uh, what, what else do I say here? Support each other and take care. I'll catch you all somewhere. Alright. See you guys. Bye.